visitors from other worlds. <sighs> Are they coming to Kansas? Some say yes. Well, Zach Martin spoke to a couple Kansans who say they have seen UFOs, and he took their thoughts and videos to an expert. That's new at 10 tonight. Zach. Jeff, Emily, since June, when the government released its report of 144 cases of unidentified aerial phenomena, the sightings of these UAPs, they're going up everywhere. If the Department of Defense is willing to confirm that that happened, uh, I think perhaps people see it as an avenue towards, well, maybe my story is, is true, too. Nick Adanasio works at a space museum, but in his free time, he's a UFO enthusiast. We don't know how many galaxies there are in our entire universe. And so if each one of those has hundreds of billions of stars, and each one of those stars might host a couple of planets, there's so much that could be out there. Earlier this week, KSN was sent this video from viewer Jackie Espinoza showing a weird object flying through the sky. And it was right outside my house and we were driving home and my husband was like, what is that? After doing some research, Espinoza says she found out it wasn't a UFO, but something she was always more fearful of than a UFO, an asteroid. Felt completely justified in my fear. I've always thought that it was irrational up until this point. <laughs> Last May, around the time of a lunar eclipse, assistant kitchen manager at Norton's Brewing, Farley Charwell, says he saw this object floating in the sky. And then when I zoomed in, I was like, oh, it's probably a helicopter. And I zoomed in and it was like a weird, like fan looking thing. I don't know how to explain it. Like has like spikes out the side of it. Charwell says no one has been able to convince him yet that it's something other than a UFO. For our viewers and others that think they've seen a UAP, the government created a group to help with streamlining and reporting and investigations of UFOs from civilians. Here for you, Zach Martin, KSN News 3.